Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Rafael and today I want to talk to you about the new brand set Archibus Brazors as well as a new named item of that brand set Picaros Holster. I probably spelled both of those two names wrong. Apologies, but <laughs> I don't know how they're pronounced. Let's start with the holster because it's easily one of the best items in the entire game. As you can see on the attributes, it has one core attribute and three more attributes. 8% weapon handling, 6% critical hit chance, and a game changing 20% weapon damage. Keep in mind that the weapon handling and the critical hit chance are normal attributes and can be recalibrated, meaning that we can get out of the three attributes a total of plus 20% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage, and 6% critical hit chance. When it comes to the core attribute, what's really interesting is that it can be recalibrated only to armor or skill tier. So if you thought that you could get an extra 15% weapon damage from the core attribute, sadly, you cannot. If we move on to the Archibus Brazers brand set, we will notice that it's the only brand set in the entire game that offers an extra core attribute, the plus one skill tier from the brand set bonuses that it gives. So with two pieces, we get 10% skill haste as well as plus one skill tier. With just two items of this brand set, we can get four core attributes, two of them coming from the normal core attribute roles, one of them being the second brand set bonus, and the fourth one coming from the Picaro's holster first attribute being plus 20% weapon damage. Shit, it's even more than four core attributes if you think about it, because, because a normal red core attribute would give you only 15% weapon damage when the first attribute of the Picaro's holster gives you an extra 20% weapon damage instead of only 15 As you can see, my two Archibus pieces give me a total of plus two skill tiers and a 35% weapon damage. But we're not done yet. You see, pieces like Contractor's Gloves or Fox Prayers come with great bonuses like damage to armor and damage to targets out of cover, but these bonuses take out one of the attribute spots. Picaro's Holster, however, has three attributes instead of two, like every other branched holster in the entire game. So overall, not only you get four core attributes from two pieces, you also get an extra attribute slot. Moving on, as I said, from two pieces we get the four core attributes, so players who enjoy hybrid builds will fall in love with this one. The build you see right now on your screens was the first thing I decided to put together and try out. I decided to go with Memento because we will get plus one core attribute of weapon damage as well as another skill tier. We will also get another 30% weapon damage increase from the long term buff as well as another 30% skill efficiency. Until now we have only mentioned 3 pieces of the build and we already have 7 core attributes, 3 from the memento and 4 from the brand sets. A Fenris AB piece for the 10% assault rifle damage with a glass cannon talent on it so both my weapon and skills benefit was the test piece of my choice. With so many skill tiers and with a hybrid build in my mind, Capacitor was the only way. Coming with 12% damage to armor as well as 10% health damage and a talent that increases my skill damage but also my weapon damage, there is no other weapon in the game coming even close to being better for this build. The specialization of my choice was of course the Technician. We will get an extra skill tier from it as well as a skill damage boost. We already have 4 skill tiers and a 30% skill efficiency from the Memento long term buff, so it's time to invest to some more weapon damage pieces. Contractor's Gloves will get me all the way up to 20% damage to armor. Fox Sprayers for the 12% damage targets out of cover. A couple of roles that still need to be worked on, things like weapon handling and status effects or skill haste need to go so I can get critical hit damage. Even as the build stands right now however, with a 50% critical hit chance and an 87% critical hit damage, you can see from the gameplay in the background how hard both my skills but also my capacitor hit for. Capacitor has 5 red core attributes of 15% weapon damage as well as 4 skill tiers which translate to another 30% weapon damage. The Memento long term buff will give it another 30% weapon damage and of course Picaro's holster will give it another 20% weapon damage bonus. That's a total of 155% weapon damage just from those things we just talked about. So even though I don't have high critical hit damage you can see why my bullets hit for so hard. Striker Drone hits for about 90k per hit and the Assault Turret for almost 150. I think it was around 148 or 149 or something like that. So I would say that both of my skills are actually very very powerful. 
This might be one of the best builds I've ever seen. You want to change your skills and play with explosive damage instead of the drone and the turret? Take out the Contractor's Gloves and Fox Sprayers, get yourself two Grupo Sombra with either skill tiers on it or red core attributes, doesn't really matter, decide what fits best your playstyle, and boom! Get your Sticky Mines and your Sticky Bomb and you're ready to go. In conclusion, yesterday when I read the new branched bonuses, I wasn't too excited about it. Yeah, okay, I thought 10% skill haste and a skill tier. Not bad, not great. I'll have more options for my hybrid builds. But holy shit, when the PTS went live and I saw the holster, I couldn't believe it. Of course, this is a PTS, things can change, but if things stay the way they are, this will be my new best solo build. I will change the 8% weapon handling and the 2% skill haste rolls for 3 critical hit damage rolls, making up a total of an extra 36% critical hit damage, and I will never use anything else. My new tryhard solo build. It just offers too much for me to say no, and you can play around with it quite a lot. If you want more skill tiers for higher skill damage, you can go with more skill tiers. If you want more survivability, you can get brand sets in there that will give you armor on kill or armor regeneration. Memento is already giving you 3% armor regeneration when you have full snacks, but you can play around with different brand sets to get even more than that. Overall, I think that this new brand set and the new named holster will change the current meta to something different, something we haven't seen in a very long time. I haven't tried this build on Legendary yet, but from the numbers I've seen while I was playing and doing some control points, I'm very confident that I can output more damage than most of my skill builds and definitely most of my red builds, simply because when you have two main sources of your damage, both your skills but also your weapon, it means that when you reload or when you need to chill behind cover, your DPS doesn't drop to zero because your skills continue to deal quite a lot of damage. If your skills go on a cooldown or whatever, you can count on your weapon to kill the enemies that are pushing you, and you have a weapon which, as you can see, it hits for half a million per shot, which is pretty, pretty good. So overall, I'm in love with this new Brassard and the new named holster. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts about the new branch and the new named holster, as well as the build that you just watched. Have a wonderful day everybody, bye bye.